Hi, this is Nicholas Yock, a registered education and migration agent from Pathway to Oz. Uh, today, we're going to discuss one of the new visas, uh, the 491 visa, Skilled Work Regional Visa. So this is the new visa that's replacing the old 489 visa in November, I think the 16th of November 2019. Um, the, this visa falls under the banner of General Skilled Migration. So it goes under the banner of uh, the Skilled Independent 189 or the Skilled or State Nominated 190. Um, it's originally like a temporary visa, so but it can lead to permanent residency. I think this type of visa is gonna be very popular in the future. Immigration or the government has generally shown a trend recently to kind of push people to live in, in sort of regional areas, which I think will cause this visa to, yeah, to be very popular amongst um, migrants. I think originally there's an allocation of about 14,000 per year, um, but I expect it to, to probably rise in the future. So as with any sort of general skilled migration visa, the 491 skilled work regional visa is points tested. This means you still need to submit an expression of interest uh, through skill select. Um, so the expression of interest basically still measures things like your uh, education, your age, your work experience, you know, among a lot of other things. Um, and don't forget in November as well, the government's bringing in a few small tweaks to the points test uh, for things such as if you single, you get 10 points and you get 15 points for regional nomination. So there are some big changes. There's another video on the new points test changes if you want to check that out. In totaling your points, uh, please still remember to be able to apply for this visa, you still need to be nominated by a state or territory government um, or a regional area or by an eligible family member residing or living in one of those regional areas. So what parts of Australia are actually designated as a regional area? Um, pretty much most of Australia, except for the major cities. So every city except for Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Gold Coast and Perth are classified as regional. So you've got big cities like Cairns, you know, Darwin, Adelaide, Newcastle, Wollongong, which do fall under uh, the regional banner. So what is the process of applying for this visa? Well, firstly, like any general skilled migration visa, uh, you need to pass a skills assessment. Uh, secondly, you need to lodge an expression of interest uh, through immigration. Um, you can then, depending on where you want to migrate to, you will then either need to wait for the regional area to send you an invitation to apply for nomination, or with some regional areas, you can actually uh, apply directly to them once you have lodged your expression of interest and don't need to wait to receive an invitation. Once you do submit your application for state nomination and then it's approved, you'll receive an invitation to apply for the actual visa. All right, so how does the 491 visa lead to permanent residency? All right, so when you're granted the 491 visa, it's initially a five-year temporary visa. However, you can access or transition onto permanent residency through the subclass 191 visa. Um, to be eligible for this permanent visa, you need to have lived, worked and studied or, you know, lived, worked or studied in one of those regional areas for at least three years. And the next component of it is you need to show that you've earned above TISMIT, which is a certain wage level, which is currently 53,900 over those three years. Uh, if you meet that criteria, you should then be able to transition onto the permanent visa. Um, I hope you find this video very helpful. Uh, feel free to contact Pathway to Oz uh, if you do have any questions uh, about your specific situation and you can chat with a registered migration agent. Thank you.